Hey, what's up? Jigs are here. As you probably know, Reclaim AI is an intelligent scheduling application designed specifically for Google Calendar that uses artificial intelligence to effectively manage your schedule. If you're looking for more features that can accommodate not only your Google Calendar, but also your Microsoft Calendar, you can try Motion as an alternative. In this video, I will explain what Motion is and how you can easily navigate to the tool for effective task management. Let's go! If you need a software to increase your productivity through effective task management and tracking, I personally recommend Motion. Motion is an all-in-one productivity tool that combines features such as a calendar, project and task manager, and even a booking system for convenient scheduling. Although this is generally a paid tool where pricing is categorized either individually or by team, you can enjoy its seven-day free trial to explore all its features without paying anything yet. For your reference, click on the tag in the upper right corner or find the link in the description box below. To use this tool, you must first sign in with either your Google or Microsoft accounts and provide your billing information. After successful registration, the next step is to link your Google or Microsoft calendar. Follow the on-screen instructions and grant the necessary permissions for seamless integration. As a pre-set up with Motion, you will be asked to identify your working hours, create a default workspace, set up your first project, and assign three default tasks. For initial setup, go to the Settings tab and adjust the configurations to your liking. Here, you can add another account, customize the default view of your dashboard, set your preferred conferencing platform, and more. Motion also has a desktop and mobile app version that you can install for easier access. Basically, Motion is a tool that mostly acts as an API that syncs with your Google or Outlook calendar and its core functionality is auto-scheduling. For each task created, its algorithm analyzes your tasks, priorities, and due dates, and optimizes your schedule based on your availability and preferences. Pin directly to the calendar to automatically define the date and specific time your task is scheduled. You can also click the Add Task button in the sidebar panel. Either way, these two options let you create tasks conveniently. On the entry form, you can assign your task a specific description, a priority label, and even set a deadline and schedule if you prefer. Above, you can set the task as either one-time or recurring. Recurring tasks are routines that are part of your daily or weekly schedule, which creates productive habits. Once everything is defined, click the Schedule button to save your task. If you notice a task with a dotted line in the calendar, it indicates flexibility, which means the AI-powered auto-scheduler can adjust your tasks to fit around your other scheduled events. For a more dynamic view of your individual or team tasks, navigate to the Projects and Tasks tab. Click the plus button in the Workspaces section panel to create your own workspace that will serve as a central hub for organizing your projects, tasks, and events. On each workspace, you can click Add Project in the toolbar to create a container for each group of related tasks. Then click Add Task to subsequently create new tasks for your project. In order to achieve a systematic way of managing tasks, particularly if you're working in teams, make sure to assign predefined statuses to monitor productivity and promote transparency across your workspaces. Preferably, you can also add custom labels. As an example, you can create labels such as data gathering, UI or UX, backend, and more if you're working on system development. This will help you better organize each task according to the specified category of work. If you prefer a board-like interface, switch your view to the Kanban tab, where you can see each task group in cards. You can also try each of the filters in the toolbar above to customize how you want your cards displayed. For example, you can group them by status, label, and more. Drag and drop each card to organize them more easily. 
Motion also offers a booking system that allows you to create a special link where anyone you share it with can conveniently book their appointment with you. To get started, click on Set Up My Booking Links and watch the provided tutorial video to the end to proceed to the next step. Then enter the necessary details in the booking form including your preferred schedule, duration, video conferencing platform, and more. By default, Motion comes with a predefined booking link, but you can customize it to your liking. When everything is set up, create booking page to confirm the link generation. If you want to create more booking pages, just click the Create Booking Link button in the top right corner of the dashboard. After generating a link, share it with your team members. Your team members or guests will then select a specific date and time based on the schedule you set. Note that every time an appointment is made, it is added to your calendar as well. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.